This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa. Thank you for joining us. I'm Renee Summerauer with a breaking news update for you this hour. Top executives of the Rio and the Fountain Blue, which is set to open in December, are giving new details on what they have planned for their respective properties. In August, the Rio will start a two-phase, $350 million renovation of the 2,500-suite resort, refreshing all rooms, the casino, many of its food and beverage outlets, and its pool deck. Fountain Blue officials, meanwhile, provide new details about the resort, including plans for entertainment residencies in a 3,800-seat theater, the payment of 7,100 employees on a weekly basis, and a partnership with the nearby Las Vegas Convention Center. The Nevada Gaming Control Board and separate unanimous votes recommended approvals of gaming licenses for top executives of the Rio and the Fountain Blue Resort. In uh, two weeks, the Nevada Gaming Commission will act on those recommendations. In all likelihood, they will be approved by the Gaming Commission. What that also means is that uh, because these were suitability hearings for these executives, they will, all they have done is really uh, made, made it clear that these, uh, these executives are suitable for operating a, a casino in Las Vegas or in the state of Nevada. And probably the month of November, uh, Fontainebleau will be back again so that the entire property will be licensed for operations which are expected to begin in December. Final approval of the licenses are expected to be considered by the Nevada Gaming Commission on July 27th. For more on this story and more, log on to LVRJ.com. And don't forget to download our free RJ mobile app to get breaking news alerts like this sent straight to your phone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Thank you for watching. You've been watching breaking news from the Las Vegas Review-Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa.